um, they had a, a good uh, game against the police the other day. Showed up a few uh, things we can work on in terms of um, in terms of the set piece, which is my particular area of interest. Um, and basically trying to prepare them as well as we can for hopefully uh, that next level. So preparing them in a similar fashion that we, we would prepare the flying Fijians. Uh, anticipation, I hope they're all ready to play. It's, um, uh, I, as I said, I've only just arrived, but um, in watching the Pampas play against the Waratahs B team on the weekend, um, they, uh, they present a significant challenge, I think. They play a very sort of tight type of game. Obviously, the scrum is going to be important, as well as the, the driving line out more, um, being able to, to deal with that defensively, and also um, in terms of the Fijian attack, being able to turn or win enough quality ball that we can we can attack well off uh, well off um, set phase play. Mm. I think so. Yeah, I think if they stick to the systems, like we're all here, we're here to, to coach um, certain techniques and systems that will stand up under pressure. Yeah. And then they've just got to remember that they've got to back themselves to be able to replicate that that technique and those systems under pressure. Mm. Yeah, I think it's it's all important. Like it's another pathway mm. uh, to helping the fair flying Fijian team be stronger. Mm. Um, as I said, with all these players. Um, if there are injuries within the main squad that they have potential to, to come up and, and fill the gap. Um, so it's very important in terms of the development pathway that, that you know, things like the under-20s and, and, the, and the Warriors program are kept, kept moving forward. Uh, I'll probably just uh, stick to the systems that we coach, um, uh, especially when, when they're under pressure, just stick with things we've trained uh, and hopefully that stands them in good stead and they're able to produce a, a good performance.